particularly dangerous situation we're following at this time in southern Indiana and the northwestern parts of Kentucky. It looks like we're right in the midst of a tornado outbreak and could be throughout the afternoon and even into the overnight hours. Let's check back in with our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes. Also, Carl Parker standing by at the expert desk. Guys, do we have active tornadoes going on right now? Oh, we certainly do. We've got uh, something like 15 tornado warnings right now. Just about every supercell out there is, uh, or supercells are rotating now, uh, anywhere from the Ohio Valley down across and into uh, the Mid-South. Just about every storm is rotating. Yeah, we have three lines of them. The lead leading lines on the Georgia-South Carolina border down in here. There's a middle line in parts of northern Alabama into southeast Tennessee. And then the, what we've been terming and expecting to be the main event all the way from the Indiana-Ohio border down into western Tennessee. Quite a number of storms uh, up in this area, including uh, the lead storm that's had a tornado. That's the one that we've been following with the debris ball at times. Carrollton, New Liberty, Florence, and Covington. Covington is uh, toward the Cincinnati airport. It's probably going to go just to the south of the Cincinnati area, but the next storm over uh, may in fact go over into the Cincinnati area. Following that on its heels, a tornado that's down near LaGrange and St. Joseph, Charleston, Madison areas. I'll show you the details of those lead two storms. Here's the lead storm, no longer showing a debris ball, but that doesn't mean there's not a tornado there. Well-defined hook echo. Tornado would be hiding right in there, close to the Carrollton area, heading off toward just south of the Vey area. Then another well-defined hook here. A tor tornado would be going just to the north of Westport over toward Bedford and the Campbellsburg area. So dangerous storms, a pair of them there. Farther off to the west in Kentucky, heading toward the Hardensburg area, Clay, Dixon, Seabury, Calhoun regions, and then sliding down into western Tennessee now. Uh, here is Nashville, and so we're talking probably about an hour and a half to the west, uh, Wildersburg, Holiday, Camden and Waverly areas. And that line continues farther down to the south and east. And then the next line over, northern parts of Alabama now, Town Creek and Athens. Athens had a tornado very close to that area uh, earlier this morning. And then over in southeast Tennessee, similar areas where the storms have rolled across this morning, Huntland, for example, and uh, yet one more storm that's rolling. Uh, over into the uh, the Saudi area, the Dayton area, as it comes across out of uh, tennis, uh, over in southeast parts of Tennessee. So that's just some. There are so many of the tornado warnings. Um, we're in the process of uh, giving a Torcon value of 10 for north central parts of of uh, Kentucky. Uh, Cincinnati area is in a nine, for example, and we uh, have very high Torcon values today all the way down into northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, northern Georgia, and up into southern Ohio, southern Indiana. So a greatest threat, that area in white there, meaning that one of the worst, likely worst 10 days of the year in terms of the potential for destructive, long-lived, violent tornadoes. We have particularly dangerous situation tornado watches out. Those kind of parameters that we look at, the combination of instability and how the winds turn with height to let the storms rotate six to eight times what we need for getting significant tornadoes today. So with the storms moving east, northeast at 60 miles per hour, it's the kind of day where you want to be taking shelter as soon as you get a warning. On cable, you'll see on the Weather Channel, the warnings scroll across the screen. You won't have time to wait for them. If you wait till you can see it, the tornado may be too close. You may not have time to take shelter. Yeah, I was going to mention that, Greg. Uh, you know, I think it's natural for people to want to go outside if they see that their town is in the path of the storm and see what's going on outside. But in this case, it could be dark on the horizon. And then before you know it, the storm is on you 60 miles an hour. I mean, that's traveling on the freeway if you think yeah. about that. All right, well, let's get over to Mark Thibodeau right now and see what's going on online. Mark? Well, uh, we are definitely looking at uh, ways to keep you safe here. And if you go to weather.com, you can prepare for the severe weather outbreak in advance. You go to weather, go over safety and preparedness, and you can find out how to keep your family safe during this dangerous outbreak of severe weather, where tornadoes are most likely to form, how to protect your home and family. And we are during the storm now in a lot of cases. So if you're in a building, you basically want to put as many walls between you and the outside, the lowest interior room without windows, stay away from glass doorways, things of that nature. If you're outside, try to get into a strong building as quickly as possible. And obviously after the storm, we want to uh, try to help the injured and be aware of many hazards beyond the severe weather. Let's get back over to Nick and Vivian. All right, appreciate it, Mark. And just a reminder that we do have expert analysis, live reports, information on what you need to do to stay safe. That is right. The Weather Channel is your severe weather authority. Keep it right here. I was